The Little Eagle Community Center will consist of five geodesic domes that will be built as green structures. Each dome can withstand winds of 200 miles per hour, zone 4 earthquakes, and snow loads of 120 pounds per square foot. The outer walls will have an insulation rating of R45, and the custom-built temper glass windows will be virtually unbreakable. All of the domes in this 6,020 square foot complex will be interconnected, but each of the domes will be constructed individually as funding permits. The complex is also designed so that all water and sewer facilities are on one side of the complex. Each of the domes will have its own radiant floor heating system to heat the structure. Each of the floors will have four PEX tubing runs of equal length connected to a heating zone manifold and heater for the seven gallons of water in the system. The main dome will be a central meeting place where events and meetings will be held, movies will be shown, and the elders will receive meals. This 36-foot high-profile dome will be completely open to its height of 23 feet. Each of the domes will have its own entrance and can be accessed as well through a lockable door from this main dome. As we walk through the interconnecting structure to the store dome, you'll notice two bathrooms and large storage areas in that space. The store dome will be a place where people can buy basic supplies along with arts and crafts made at the center. It will have a second floor loft for storage. As we head for the education dome, you'll notice a large room on the left that will serve as a central maintenance room where the main electrical box, tankless hot water heater, and other things serving all domes will be located. The education dome and other domes surrounding the main one are low profile domes with ceiling heights of 18 feet. Like the main dome, this education dome is completely open. It will house computers with access to the internet and will be the place where the Lakota language and culture will be taught and experienced. As you can see, upon exiting this dome, there is a lot of open space for more storage to the right of the maintenance room. As we head for the next dome, you'll notice more storage space in the interconnecting structure that, like the others, is 14 feet wide with 12-inch thick walls for added insulation value. This cultural enterprises dome will be a place where artwork and indigenous crafts such as beadwork and star quilts can be made. This space, which will also serve as a second classroom and meeting place, will have sewing machines and other items for making arts and crafts that can be sold at the store or over the internet in the education dome. As we head for the caretaker's dome, we'll pass through a large kitchen space with a stove, sink, refrigerator, and freezer. This kitchen will be used to prepare meals for the elders and for events in the main dome. The door at the end of this kitchen takes us into the kitchen of the caretaker's dome. This two-story structure will serve as the living quarters for the family overseeing the complex. It is a three-bedroom structure with living, dining, bathroom, washing, storage, and kitchen areas. This dome will also serve as a model for other housing in the area. There are plans to landscape the area around the complex and put in an Anipi Lodge and garden. There are also plans for a security system surrounding the structure. The complex is also designed for expansion so that new domes can be attached in one of the five places in each of the existing domes. The building of this complex will have other benefits as well. It will serve as a model for other similar construction projects and help develop a local owned and run construction business providing services both in and around the area and employing local people.